This is a way to demonstrate the uh, most important science of global climate change with respect to carbon dioxide, which is zero carbon emissions. This is a video of an animation. It's a very useful animation describing the fundamentals of uh, global climate change science with respect to carbon dioxide, which of course is the most important greenhouse gas, and it's provided on the SEEDS, S-E-E-D-S -E -E site. Fairly evident what it's all about. The bathtub represents the atmosphere. The water in the bathtub represents the carbon dioxide. And the tap, of course, represents the emissions uh, from the planet, natural emissions of carbon dioxide, and uh, the relatively small amount of additional carbon dioxide that industrial civilization is emitting, but which is having a huge effect on the uh, concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and this animation model explains how. The model, of course, is uh, based on the carbon cycle and the uh, uh, carbon cycle models that uh, project the rate of removal of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and therefore the rate of buildup if extra carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere. The outflow here, um, to really get down to the science in some detail, um, the outflow, you've got to imagine the tiniest, tiniest outflow. So uh, imagine these two uh, little tiny drops of water here, because that's the situation with the planet and the climate system. Because um, we've lost the uh, terrestrial land carbon sink, we're burning it. That's the fossil carbon we're burning it as fossil fuel. We've only got one carbon sink, and that's the ocean carbon sink. And the ocean carbon sink is uh, dependent on the ultra-slow carbon cycle. And we're talking about tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years to remove uh, carbon, carbon dioxide out of the out of the carbon cycle. So we're pouring it in at one end, and uh, at the other end, the uh, outflow is, is fixed. And it's dependent on a very, very slow process um, of the uh, oceans. So the handle, the tab here, of course, uh, represents changing the amount and the rate of emissions of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Uh, of course, there's a balance between uh, the amount of carbon dioxide being emitted, added to the atmosphere, and the very tiny, slow amount of carbon dioxide being removed from the atmosphere. There's a balance whereby atmospheric carbon dioxide is stabilized. Uh, it doesn't uh, go up as it is doing now at a very rapid rate. And that, as I say, is dependent on this very, very, very slow, slow removal. The position of the handle where the input and the outflow balance each other in the animation is right here. See just where that uh, tile is? That the stabilization level. That's the flow of carbon dioxide water. The uh, rate of emissions of carbon dioxide which is stable, which is balanced by the removal by planetary processes. If we crank the uh, handle right up, we'll speed up the emissions of carbon dioxide and we'll reach the position where, of course, where the water overflows from the bathtub and uh, this represents, in the analogy, a catastrophic amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which causes a catastrophic amount of heating and climate change in which, uh, and uh, we'll let the water flow out of the bathtub. Now we're going to represent the uh, pre-industrial natural situation. We're going to fill the uh, bathtub up to about here. And then we're going to put this handle just at this point here. So this is a natural safe situation, pre-industrial, in which life on Earth flourished, uh, humanity uh, developed agriculture, civilizations flourished. Now we're going to just nudge the flow of water up a tiny little bit. That's the tiniest nudge, and you'll see that the level of water in the bathtub is rising, and it will continue to rise. This then represents the post-industrial situation. Post-industrially, we're only adding a relatively very small amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere relative to the much larger amount of carbon dioxide naturally being emitted uh, by, the, uh, by the planet. 
volcanoes, forest fires, and uh, rock weathering, and such like. In this situation, as I say, with just a relatively small amount of car extra carbon dioxide being emitted, the bathtub is rising and will continue to rise, and it will inevitably overflow. Now, if we nudge it back down a tiny little bit, and we get to this zero point here, where we are not adding any more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, this would be zero carbon emissions, the level of water in the bathtub stops rising. So what this shows is that we can only stop the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from rising if we are at this zero natural pre-industrial point. So this illustrates the definite science of zero carbon emission uh, confirmed by the 2007 assessment of the IPCC that the only way to stabilize long term the level of carbon in the atmosphere, carbon dioxide concentration, is zero carbon emissions, not putting any carbon into the atmosphere. Now let's uh, make this a terribly important point again. What we have been doing and what we are continuing to doing to do now is to put more and more and more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere all the time. Right? We're constantly pushing the handle of the bathtub up and putting more and more water in. So global climate catastrophe is inevitable unless we change this situation. But to get from here this high amount of carbon dioxide emissions, a very high amount of emissions compared to zero, becomes uh, next to impossible or becomes actually impossible. Because uh, the future will just not have the time to go to zero carbon emissions from here. Cutting back is not enough. 20% cut back, 50% cut back, makes no change. We're still in climate catastrophe. The bath is still overflowing. 75, 85% cut back. Makes no difference. We're still in planetary catastrophe. We have to get right back down to zero again. Right there. From here. To achieve a stabilized concentration of carbon dioxide but it's still way too high so we have to be doing this right now we cannot keep pouring carbon dioxide into the atmosphere because doing that we're committing we're condemning all future generations to unmitigatable planetary global climate catastrophe